Excellencies, distinguished delegates, I thank the International Renewable Energy Agency, IRENA, for co-organizing this important event with us. And I'm very pleased to share with you a few thoughts on an issue which is central to the future of small island developing states, the transition to resilient and sustainable energy. At this critical juncture, SIDS face the paradox of being highly vulnerable to climate change while remaining heavily dependent on imported fossil fuels. This reliance not only leads to high energy costs and exposure to economic shocks, but also, albeit negligibly, contributes to uh, CO2 emissions. A just transition to renewable energy is essential, not as a climate imperative, but as a means to strengthen energy security, reduce costs, and resilience building. Yet, this shift demands substantial investment, access to innovative technologies, and expanded technical capacity. The Antigua and Barbuda Agenda for SIDS, the ABAS, recognizes the need for affordable, reliable, sustainable, and modern energy with an emphasis on renewable sources. Achieving this vision requires creative solutions, especially through public-private partnerships. The ABAS calls for new, innovative, and bold approaches to partnerships, underscoring a whole of society engagement that includes the private sector in delivering sustainable energy solutions. Public-private partnerships have proven transformative, enabling technical expertise, financing, and supportive policy frameworks for renewable energy systems in the SIDS. Numerous case studies illustrate how such collaborations between governments, the private sector, and international organizations have advanced the renewable energy transition, expanded local access to clean energy, and generated new economic opportunities. Since its establishment by my office in 2014, the SIDS Global Business Network has been a key platform prom promoting public-private partnership. The biennial SIDS uh, Global Business Network Forum has been playing an instrumental role in showcasing the best practices in partnerships and the development of knowledge products. The most recent forum, which was held at the outset of the SIDS conference in Antigua and Barbuda this May, this year, engaged the private sector in setting priorities to strengthen partnerships for the ABAS. These priorities emphasize government leadership in innovation in blue-green development plans and investor, and investor community collaboration. My office is committed to supporting these recommendations by mobilizing international support and fostering impactful partnerships. Looking ahead, we are preparing for the next six Global Business Network Forum in 2026 to build on this year's outcomes. In closing, distinguished colleagues, I extend my heartfelt thanks to our speakers and participants for attending this event and for your very valuable contributions. Your recommendations and valuable insights are important in advancing our shared agenda. I thank you.